I'm Morty from Rank Ranger, and welcome to the second installment of the SEO Ignite series, where we'll trek through the boundlessly brilliant and downright brazen Google Knowledge Panel lickety split in line with the Ignite format. Good question. If a query relates to an entity, think companies, people, movies, stores, restaurants, etc., Google may show a panel chock full of information related to that entity, hence, Knowledge Panel, a panel of knowledge. What's in a knowledge panel? What's not? There's more variety here than in my mom's magazine collection. Corporate info, movie showtime, scene rosters, song release dates, reviews, critic lists, menus, TV schedules, popular shopping times, prices available, in-store products, hotel amenities. <sighs> Before we go on, it's important to remember what shows up within a knowledge panel. Heck, what kind of panel you get is all dependent on the entity. For example, Google shows local movie times in the panel. If you query Bill Gates, do you think Google tells you what time it gets to work? No. No. Well, not yet. Let's get more specific. In a lot of ways, knowledge panels are like your 6 o'clock news. They offer basic facts without much color. Think contact info, entity summaries, hours of operations, reviews, and so forth. Suffering from shopping addiction? You may want to stay away from local store knowledge panels. How long do people spend at a store? How busy is the store? Right now, where products are available. It's shopping Shangri-La. Google knows the way to your heart is through your stomach. That's why panels for local eateries are constantly evolving, with critic lists, menus, establishment highlights, actual pictures of the food, carousels of similar eateries, and the ability to make a reservation. These panels are good enough to eat, which would just be weird if you tried to. If this were 1966, I would say something like, holy hotel info, Batman. Good thing it's 2017, and in 2017, we can check availability, compare rates, analyze price trends, look at amenities, see transportation options, and access the most prolific set of reviews in the Googleverse. Sidebar, Your Honor, a lot of the items I've listed here are only within mobile knowledge panels. Google tweaks its mobile panels more often than Hollywood releases a movie that horrifically kills what was once a nostalgic part of my childhood. It's all part of Google's larger mobile strategy. This is no B-movie. Google rolls out the red carpet when it comes to movie panels. Links to trailers, showtimes for current flicks, ratings and reviews, cast lists, award wins, carousel to carousel related movies, most of which only appear within mobile panels. Either way, we are not in Kansas anymore. Unlike Alice's trip, there is nothing chaotic or strange here, but mobile movie panels are the perfect place to get endlessly lost. Any actor or other movie you tap on in the mobile panel just takes you to another mobile panel. So you can go from Spielberg to Indiana Jones to the Frisco Kid to G. Wilder in four tabs without ever hitting a real site. Dangerous to a website, that is. Since the panels are so prolific, and being that you can hop from panel to panel on mobile without ever hitting an actual site, websites can end up on the short end of the stick with less visitors, just like they did during the last Olympic Games. Wait for it. Wait for it. So glad you waited. Did you know Google created what was all but a mobile knowledge panel, threw it on desktop, and used it to cover the Olympics? You can move from sport to sport, country to country, athlete to athlete, endlessly, getting totally lost in the Googleverse. I never once visited the actual official Olympic website. Case in point. And it's not the only case. We love our five inches of screen and can't pull our eyes away. Mobile knowledge panels are the perfect tool to keep our eyes glued and tuned into Google. With an endless amount of info and the propensity to hop from panel to panel, Google's got the goods to help us get lost in their world, which is the whole point. Ah, knowledge panel. It's the one know-it-all we actually love. Google wants us to see them as a provider of information. In doing so, Google becomes a good source for information and authority in all things. Smart, eh? And with that, I hope you've enjoyed our time together. Until the next edition of Rank Winters Ignite SEO series, toodles.